Dear colleagues, I suggest we continue our deliberations. Uh, now, this part of our today's AFED meeting is again in association with the Subcommittee on uh, Security and Defense. And I would like to welcome at the beginning Mr. Gilles de Kerhofe, who is the EU Counterterrorism Coordinator. And uh, we, as you know, we have been discussing this afternoon the report of Mr. Peyon on the security challenges in the Middle East and North Africa region and the prospects for political stability, followed by an exchange of views which you have also witnessed with the Secretary General of NATO, Mr. Stoltenberg. Later today, we will examine the AFET opinion on the use of passenger name record data, a report prepared by our colleague, Mr. Arnaud Danjean. And uh, you might also be aware that the Committee on, C on Civil Liberties will be working on the topic, the prevention of radicalization and recruitment of European citizens by fundamentalist movements, with an initiative report on which Foreign Affairs Committee will be providing its opinion. The report will focus on countering extremist online propaganda, such as social networks, online video channels and chat rooms, and cooperation on local and national level to develop measures to stop processing processes leading to radicalization, such as in schools or prisons. The report will also focus on tools to help individuals to de-radicalize. These areas are the very ones where the European Union is taking common action as decided at the meeting of the European Council last February for preventing radicalization, for detecting and removing contact from Internet, communication strategies to promote tolerance and non-discrimination, and initiatives on education and social inclusion of young people. At their last meeting in March, the Justice and Home Affairs Ministers, they discussed the implementation of the measures decided by the European Council. The ministers provided guidance on areas where progress is expected in the coming months, such as combating radicalization on Internet and setting the Internet referral capabilities or stepping up information sharing and operational cooperation. This operational cooperation entails establishing dialogue on counterterrorism measures with our partners in the neighborhood and fostering cooperation among them as well, such as was the meeting of Arab uh, interior ministers recently held in Algeria. Uh, also, the recent exchange of views between Algerian and Tunisian authorities where a list of 55 names of jihadists active at regional level were identified. Mr. De Kerhove, you will be traveling tomorrow to Tunisia with uh, Madame Mogherini and Mr. Tusk as the President of the European Council to, dis to discuss how to improve the European Union's support to Tunisia, especially after the most recent terrorist attack. I would be grateful if you could, uh, for the start of our debate, brief us on the latest developments and the measures in fighting terrorism, as well as the dialogue which is ongoing in the framework with the League of Arab States and the bilateral level. The floor is 